From Showhawk Media, this is Filmmaking Footnote with your host, Michael Hall. You're listening to Episode 8. This is the show where we give you the best filmmaking and production information so you can make the best project possible without having to spend a bunch of time or money at film school. Let's do it. What's up, guys? How's everyone doing today? This is Michael Hall, your host of Filmmaking Footnote. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are talking Alan Smithy. So Alan Smithy is a name that has been credited to over two dozen films as a director. Alan Smithy's first project was Death of a Gun of a Gun Fighter, released in 1969, and his last credit appeared in the year 2000. The crazy part is that Alan Smithy is not a person. Alan Smithy does not exist. It is actually the official pseudonym that was used by film directors who did not want to be associated with their films after they had wrapped filming. So they were, this is the, this is the name that the, the official name that the Directors Guild of America would give to a project when a film director wanted to disown that project. As I said, it was first used on the film Death of a Gunfighter, released in 1969, when the lead actor Richard Widmark was unhappy with the director Robert Totten and arranged to have him replaced by Don Siegel. So Don Siegel later estimated that Totten had spent about 25 days filming when Siegel had spent 9 or 10 days filming. But when the project was released, it was estimated that both had just as much footage in the final film as each other. But both directors looked at the project and were not happy with the final result and did not think that their their creative expression came through in the film. So both of them actually wanted to disavow it. So they went to the DGA, the Directors Guild of America, and both petitioned to have their name taken off of the film. Initially, the Directors Guild of America was going to, to put the name Alan Smith onto the film, say that it was directed by Alan Smith, but they thought that the name Alan Smith was too generic, so they changed it to Al Smithy, which then later turned into Alan Smithy. So after this happened, after uh, this case was presented to the Directors Guild of America on Death of a Gunfighter, all of these filmmakers started coming forward and, and petitioning the Directors Guild to have their names taken off of the projects they they had completed because they felt that either the the studio, the production company, the edit or the producer had in some way tampered with their creative vision on the film. So the Directors Guild of America made it standard practice that whenever a a director came forward and was not happy or, or had evidence that something had happened within the film filmmaking process that their creative vision had been tampered with during the project, they made it standard practice, the, the DGA made it standard practice to then assign the pseudonym Alan Smithy to a project that they had deemed had been tampered with in the process. And you should go on IMDb and look up how many projects have actually been accredited to Alan Smithy. It's about, uh, I'd say about two dozen in total. Um, and there's a couple that stand out. Um, the Twilight Zone, the movie that came out in 1983, which is actually a pretty famous film because... There was a really bad accident that actually killed a couple kids, uh, a couple stunt kids, when a helicopter accident happened during the production. And then there's a couple other films, uh, The Birds 2, 
you know, the famous sequel to Al Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Uh, and then the last one that's somewhat famous. Oh, Dune is on there, 1984 version of Dune. And and then there's a few like uh, like Rudy, Heat, and Meet Joe Black. Those those films, when they were edited for the television version, those actors or those directors actually asked the Directors Guild of America to change the television cut to to change their credit to Alan Smithy because they were not happy with the the version that was put out on television. So the the name Alan Smithy when it was in use from the from the late sixties until the early two thousands, it really signaled to to those within within uh within Hollywood and production, it really signaled that that something had gone wrong on the project, that that the project in some way, whether it was in the edit or whether it was the studio, it, in, in some way it had been tampered with and the director was not happy with the final product. Now, a really famous example of when Alan, the Alan Smithy pseudonym was not granted was with the, the cut of American History X. Apparently, Edward Norton, he knew that the film American History X was going to be a big deal, which it was. And he went back, he went behind the director's back and actually made a edit of the film American History X where he got more screen time. And so the director of American History X was really unhappy with this. And he went to the director's guild and petitioned to have his name taken off of the project. And they actually denied him that. So there were times where directors would petition to have their names taken off of projects, but didn't necessarily have enough evidence to have their name taken off of the project. So the name Alan Smithy was retired by the Directors Guild of America in 2000 because, and this is, this is a weird happenstance, a film came out in 1998 where it was called it was called an Alan Smithy film burn hollywood burn and it was supposed to be a uh, a satirical look at the whole Alan Smithy phenomenon but during the project the director Arthur Hill the director he actually invoked Alan Smithy so he went to the DGA and reported that producer uh, the producer had interfered with his creative control on the project. So they renew they removed his name and credited it, credited the film to Alan Smithy, which is just a weird, like meta situation, right? Like there's a film that's being made about Alan Smithy, about the whole Alan Smithy thing. And then the director is unhappy with the film so he has his name taken off and is then uh, has the film credited to Alan Smith Smithy. It's really bizarre. So following that film, the Directors Guild of America, they got a bunch of backlash because the film kind of exposed this whole this whole weird uh, pseudonym pseudonym thing going on. And so they and after that film came out, they stopped granting the name Alan Smithy. So that's a little film history for you. If you're ever watching a film, like say something really, really crappy comes up, like, uh, you know, Raging Angels from 1995 or Shrimp on the Barbie from 1990, if any of those come up, now you know who he is. Unfortunately, if you're working on a project and it's tampered with, you can no longer invoke the name Alan Smithy, but you can petition the DGA to have your name taken off and come up with your own pseudonym. All right, guys, thanks so much for listening. That is it for today. I will see you back here tomorrow where we will be covering 
the American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, also known as AFTRA. Also, if you have not done so yet, please subscribe to the show in iTunes, and we will see you back here tomorrow.